Okay, so what we have here is a 100% from scratch assembly program aside from the printf statement and um, the pause, which I'm using to hold the console box open and then the exit, okay? So what I mean by that is that I'm not using the invoke keyword. I'm not using the macros proc and end p. And, and, or any other type of macro or automatic method of setting up and dealing with stack um, setup or teardown. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to clear up any type of confusion you may have surrounding uh, STD call x86 stack stuff, basically. So EBP, ESP, EBP plus something, EBP minus something, ESP plus and minus something. We want to clear all that stuff up, all that confusion up in this program. So I made a program from scratch where I controlled the entire stack setup and clearing. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and then we're going to watch it run, and we're going to examine it too. So without further ado, the program starts up here. First thing we do is push EBP. Why are we doing that? Well, we want to store the previous or the calling functions base pointer, like we've talked about in a previous video. We then move ESP into EBP. We set up our new stack frame, our new base pointer. And now, this is pay close attention to this right here. What we're doing here is we're moving the stack pointer up by hex C. So stop what we're doing. Go to hex, calculator, type in C. We get 12. Okay. Now, how many times does 4 go into 12? It goes in 3 times. So what we're doing here is we're reserving space for 3 local variables. And the way that we're going to reference these, even though, see, the tricky thing here is that you reserve space by subtracting from ESP. Because what we're doing is we're moving the stack pointer up in order to reserve that space, okay? However, we reference these by convention from EBP. And we subtract. And the reason why is because when we add to EBP, just like if we were to add to ESP, we're actually moving down in deeper into the stack. When we subtract, we're moving upwards. So since EBP is at the base of this function stack frame, we need to subtract in order to get upwards to this space that we just created by moving the stack pointer up. Okay, very, very important concept. So we create space on the stack for local variables by moving up the stack pointer by subtracting 12 from the stack pointer. Now, we then populate those three variables right here by doing move D word into uh, EBP minus four, EBP minus eight, EBP minus 12, okay? Now, what we then do is we push all three of those and then we push this message up here, which is obviously a format, uh, it's a, a printf format string. If you've done C programming before, you'll recognize what we're doing here. We're basically going to be printing five different integers and a little string here, okay? Now, we, we, we do a call to a routine called modifier, which I've created. Now, as you'll see, it's just all it is, a label. So we have to control everything in this program. We don't get to rely on any external instructions like enter or leave or um, invoke or anything like that. So all we're doing, we're literally, when we do call modifier, we're literally pushing the address of this instruction right here onto the stack. So we're moving the stack pointer up one more time. And then we are jumping down to here, to this code right here. 
So, when we get down to this code right here, you're going to see something familiar again. Again, we're pushing EBP, so we're pushing that the main function's um, base pointer onto the stack now, and then we're moving ESP into EBP. So again, we're setting up another base pointer, another stack frame for the modifier subroutine here. And then again, we are subtracting 8 hex from ESP. So what are we doing again? Pause the video. Try to guess what we're doing here. What we're doing is we are creating basically two more slots for uh, two more local variables, which is what this is right here. And then we're populating them again. So this time, instead of doing like we did up here, instead of doing EBP minus 12 also, we only, since we only have two, we're only doing EBP minus 4 and EBP minus 8. So we're populating both of those local variables with these two numbers, and then we're going to call printf. And what we're going to do is we are going to pass in both the arguments to this function and these local variables. So EBP plus 12 and EBP plus 16 are arguments. So notice that we're doing EBP plus. So what we have to do is we have to go down the stack. We have to go down the stack past the return address. So remember how I said that when we made that call to modifier, this return, this address gets, the address of this instruction gets pushed. So we actually have to go past the address to that instruction and back up into the um, back up into this area right here where these arguments were pushed and in order to once we're in modifier you access those arguments that were pushed prior to the call by adding to EBP okay so when we add 8 to EBP that means we are getting our final pushed argument so message 2 when we add 12 to EBP, that means we are getting our this right here, this variable right here. So what is that variable right there? Well, it's 25. When we add 16 to EBP, that means we're getting the one above that one. So we're, we're getting this one right here which was if you go up here 89 and then finally when we add 20 to EBP we're getting the one above that one we're getting this variable right here which was 10152 and then in there in between those we go ahead and we also push these two variables right here which are local so EBP plus are the arguments, EBP minus are the local variables. So we use EBP to reference both both the um, local variables and the function arguments in STD call calling convention. Finally, we do a call to printf. So when we call printf, you will see when I run this program in, in uh, FASM, this is the program here, same program. I just copy and paste it because I like to, I prefer to to work on code in Sublime Text instead of this editor here. So when I hit run, um, it gives me a write field. I'm just going to run it manually because for some reason this thing's trying to write. I'm not really sure why. So when I run the program, check this out. The numbers are 10152, 997, 769, So if you look closely to the program back here, let me bring that window up front again too. So if you look closely at the program, EBP plus 8 is referencing the actual message with the format specifier. So we'll skip that one. Because remember, you push 
the first argument, which is the numbers are, and then the format specifiers, you push that one last. And then EBP plus 20, remember, that one was the one that was pushed directly before the message. So that one would be this variable right here, which if we go up and look, it's 25, right? So again, so we got 25. And then 89, then 769, then 997, and then finally 10152. And then after we call printf, we add ESP18H. Why do we do that? Because we pushed all of this stuff on the stack and we need to clean up the stack. And then finally, we have to clean up the stack again because it's the end of the procedure. So we have to clean up the stack space, which was used for the local variables as well, right here. Finally, we move the base pointer back to the stack, into the stack pointer to start tearing down the stack frame. And then we finally pop our old base pointer and then we return. And then what happens is execution goes, because remember return, what it does is it, it jumps back to right here. And then again, we clean up the stack in the same fashion we just did. And then we move EVP back in ESP again, we pop EVP. And then we pause the program and finally exit. So that right there shows you exactly how this calling convention refers to both local variables and arguments. Now I'm going to go into, I'm going to, first I'm going to kill this program so we don't have too much going on here. And then I'm going to go into x32dbg. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. So you can actually see as if we're reverse engineering this now what's going on. So you'll recognize this format. So we push EBP, we set up um, our ESP, and then so remember we subtract 12, which is C, from ESP. So so watch what happens over here, okay? My pointer in the bottom right corner. Watch what happens in this area. See that? We created space for those three variables in main. Now watch, we're going to populate the three of them. So you're going to see 19, 59, 27A8, which is that big 10,000 something number. Now you're going to see those three variables get pushed on to the stack. So check this out. It's going to be the same numbers again, except in reverse order. And then you're going to see the actual string message get pushed onto the stack. And then we do that call. So remember the call is right here. So this is the call that we're about to go into. So what's going to happen is the address of this instruction. So the address of, again, this instruction, 402.02e, Watch what happens. It's going to get pushed onto the stack. That's the return address. Now, we push EBP, set up, uh, move ESP into EBP again. So watch our EBP. It's going to change now for the new stack frame. And then again, we subtract eight. So check what hap Check out what happens. We create space for two more local variables. We populate both those two local variables, see how that changed right there? And then we start pushing all of those as all of those um, items as arguments to printf. So push, 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 push. There's the message again. All that's getting pushed into printf. And then we finally call printf. And then we clean up our stack. So watch what happens. See, we got rid of all that. We got rid of all of those... Um, all that space for all the pushes. And now we're going to get rid of the final two slots here for the local variables. Clean those up. Now we're just left with our base pointer. So you can see here that we're left with our base pointer because 
we are currently at 0, 0, 0, D, F, F, 5, C. And again, if you look at the base pointer, it's 0, 0, 0, D, F, F, 5, C. Now, we move base pointer back into the stack pointer. We pop EBP. So we've cleaned up the entire um, stack frame, and all we're left with is the return address. Now, when we hit when we hit this return instruction, execution jumps back up here into our main function mm -hmm. again, because we're now done with that modifier function. So we we've, we've completed this entire function. Execution's back here. And now we clean up the stack again. For, so you can see here there's another stack frame. Because stack pointer's right here. Base pointer's down here. We add 10. And then, so we cleaned up this, the space from pushing all these arguments to the previous function. And now we add C. See, so we cleaned up all that space for the local variables and now we move ES EBP into ESP again and then now we're left again with just the EBP and then we pop our EBP and then again we just before we return we actually um, call that pause system and then we exit the program okay so that right there is exactly how the calling convention works and as you can see ESP and EBP are just slots to hold memory addresses on the stack you could potentially use EBP offsets so EBP plus or minus to refer anywhere on the stack and you could potentially use ESP plus or minus offsets to refer to anywhere on the stack as well however that is just how by convention those two registers are used to refer to local variables, and arguments. So I hope this helps clear up some confusion. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. It really helps to just program your own little program in uh, assembly to better understand and grasp how the calling convention works for reverse engineering purposes. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.